I'm Debbie Young. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. Flagler County's construction boom is meaning some busy times for county inspectors. According to Chief Building Official Mark Boyce, the team of four inspectors have been averaging around 70 sites per day with Wednesday's inspection schedule including nearly 100 locations. Boyce says around 60 inspections per day is a full-time load. Inspections are scheduled once a request is made and the county has 48 hours to complete the request, but according to Boyce, most are done within eight hours. The building department is also assisting Flagler Beach in its inspection needs for the next few days while their inspector is away. Inspection costs are fully paid through fees. No taxpayer money is used. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Petschke. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Flagler County Public Schools have been recognized as a silver level Florida Healthy School District. That's the proud announcement today from School Superintendent James Tager. The Florida Partnership for Healthy Schools collaborates with Florida Action for Healthy Kids, the Florida Association of District School Superintendents, and Florida Healthy Kids Corporation in recognizing districts for their work in promoting the physical, mental, and social health of students and staff. Flagler Schools also learned that Belterre Elementary and Rimfire Elementary School both earned the 2018 National Health Schools Bronze Award as part of the Healthier Generations list of America's Healthiest Schools program. It's presented annually by the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. The schools are recognized for meeting or exceeding federal nutrition standards for school meals and snacks, offer breakfast daily, implement district wellness policies, and update their progress annually, and they provide students with at least 60 minutes of physical education each week. Superintendent Tager says this all goes to show that Flagler Schools is committed to helping our students and staff grow not only educationally and professionally, but physically and mentally as well. And speaking of our schools, the Flagler County School Board has voted unanimously to approve an agreement with the Sheriff's Office that will provide 12 new resource deputies in the district. That followed action by the Palm Coast City Council to fund an additional deputy. Currently, six deputies are being funded by the Sheriff's Office in the city, but the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act, signed by Governor Rick Scott last month, while the district only has nine buildings, Sheriff Rick Staley wanted a total of 13 deputies, one at each elementary and middle school, two at each high school, and a commander and sergeant. The redundancy was to ensure there was always complete coverage in case deputies had to attend training or called in sick. The $1.7 million cost is being split by the school district and the Sheriff's Office. The district will pay for its half from a state allocation of $800,000 that was earmarked for school security. Tuesday's vote will allow the deputies to receive the requisite three months of required training before the start of the next school year. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. The inaugural Coquina Cup Life-Saving Skills Competition is happening today, tomorrow, and Saturday at the Flagler Beach Pier. The event was created by Flagler County Tourist Development Office. Matt Dunn at the Tourism Office says it has been a long-time goal to create a multi-sport beach festival. He says the inspiration for the Coquina Cup came when Flagler County hosted the U.S. Life-Saving Association's Southeast Regional Championships back in 2015. Competitors will take part in three days of contests and life-saving skills, open water swimming and paddle boards. Flagler Beach officials say the event could help local businesses that are still reeling from the impact of Hurricanes Matthew and Irma. Tourism officials say the long-term plan is to make the Coquina Cup one of the highlight events of the year. And now you're up to date. I'm Debbie Young.